Hey everyone, welcome back to Cyber Gray Matter. Today we're going to do a quick tutorial on how to install Kali on a virtual machine with the updated 2022 install. I'll be using Oracle VirtualBox, which is free to download and also allows you to take snapshots, which are basically save points that preserve a specific state of the virtual machine. I've been asked to install this onto a laptop, and I thought it'd make a great video. This will be done on a Windows 10 operating system. So to start off, make sure you have VirtualBox downloaded. We'll navigate to the Kali website to download the ISO file. Then we'll set some of the virtual machine settings and go through the installation walkthrough together. And lastly, I'll show you some quick commands to make sure your version of Kali is up to date. Let's get started. All right, you're just gonna go to uh, Kali Linux download on Google. Click on the first link. And then as you can see, there are multiple versions here. Um, there's even one specifically for virtual machine, but today we're gonna use bare metal so you can get the 64-bit ISO file. Wait, go down here and then just click download. Save file. And this will take a few minutes, so we'll come right back. All right, and now that our Kali ISO file is downloaded, we're gonna go ahead and go to our virtual box. Go ahead and click new. And then we're gonna give it a name. I'm just gonna name it Kali. And then Linux for the type. And then the version, since this is a Debian base, we're gonna do Debian 64. Click next. For the memory size, um, you're gonna to wanna to increase this, but just don't go into the red. That should be good. All right, create a virtual hard disk now. VDI. Dynamically allocated. And then for the size, um, you're gonna to wanna to increase this, but uh, around 40 should be good. Now let's go to settings. And then go to system and then enable EFI. Let's increase the processors. Again, don't go into the red. It's gonna do two for this one. And then for the storage, we're gonna go ahead and choose the disk. So let's click this and then click this little CD here. Choose a file. And go right here. Okay, that's good. And then let's go to the network just just to make sure that it's on that. And that's it is so. All right. All right. Let's go ahead and go to start. Graphical install. And then there's some output down here, but just don't worry about that. All right, English or whichever language you're using. United States, American English. All right, it's gonna start mounting it now. And then you'll also see a couple of these status bars and everything. So let's go ahead and choose our host name. I'm just going to do as my username here. Click continue. Domain name, don't worry about this one. And then also just going to make this my name again. And then go ahead and choose a password. And then time zone, just do Eastern. Right, and this is the partitioning part, so just go ahead and use use entire disk. Continue. 
all files in one partition. Finish partitioning, continue. And then for this one, you're gonna have to go click yes. And this will take just a moment. All right, this is the first section of the download done. And then you can either choose the GNOME or KDE if you want, but you don't, you don't have to. So just go ahead and click continue. And this is gonna be the main install for this. So we're gonna go ahead and come back after it's done. And this could take up to 30 minutes, just depending how fast your computer is. And we're back, uh, installation's complete. Just go ahead and click continue. You're gonna go ahead and reboot. Go ahead and click enter. All right, and then type in your username and password. All right, and we're in. All right, one last thing. Uh, we're just gonna go ahead and update. I know some of you are gonna be watching this in the future, so you're gonna wanna do that. So just go to your terminal. Right. Sudo app update, and sudo, all that is is just like an elevated account here. Okay. I'm going to do sudo apt sudo apt full upgrade and then click yes And this is gonna take a little while, but um, we'll be right back. All right, and your instance of Kali is completely updated. You can go ahead and close out the terminal and that's it. And thanks for watching. Please make sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe for more. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them down in the comment section below. Thanks.